Bula and Namaste. Welcome to your Fiji Sun News Bulletin. In the news today, public information dissemination seminars on the draft constitution will be held around the country from this week. Attorney General Ayas Sayed Kayum said the first such session would be in Suba this Thursday and later in Vunolebu and the Western Division next week. He said registered bodies, including non-governmental organizations, were welcome to sit in, listen and give feedback on the draft constitution. Mr. Said Kayum said public consultation dates have been extended, effectively giving people three more weeks to discuss the draft constitution. The deadline for the public consultations is now April 26. Also, the Fiji Correction Service says the action of some family members, relatives and friends of inmates are affecting the terms of their loved ones in prisons. This followed revelation that more contraband was entering the prison system. Service spokesperson Anna Tamani said now privileges like remission or good behavior bonds which allow for shortening of prison sentences and visitation had been removed from some inmates because they had been caught with contraband. Mrs. Tamani said most of the contraband were fo mobile phones and accessories. She said most of the contraband were found on inmates when they returned from court proceedings or hospital visits. In business, Plius Global Limited, the company behind renowned bottled water brand Equasafe, recorded a 21.8% increase in profit for the financial year ended December 31, 2012. The company noted a net profit after tax of $365,348 last year, compared to just over $300,000 in 2011. Managing Director Warwick Plius attributed the increase largely to reduction in expenses and increase in other revenue. Mr. Plius said the company managed to increase in other revenues from realized exchange gain and dispose, disposal of motor vehicles. Mr. Plius said the proposal to build a new state-of-the-art factory, offices and, offices and warehouse in Namosi remains a near possibility. This proposal is being considered by the board. In sport, Aliferetin Dere plans to invite Wesley Serevi and Tomas Yadama Senior to help during the Rugby World Cup 7s in Moscow in June. The Digital Fiji 7s coach says he will talk to the Fiji Rugby Union on the issue when the team arrives from Tokyo tomorrow. Serevi and Dama have both declared that they are willing to help. The National 7s side could not continue their winning run at the Tokyo 7s over the weekend, losing to Australia 21-12 in the Cup quarterfinal and then to USA in the plate semifinal. Meanwhile, former Fiji 7s coach Penny Benraki blamed a lack of fitness for the loss. Before we go, let's take a look at the weather. Fine and mostly sunny, light to moderate southeast winds and light afternoon sea breezes. That's all from the newsroom for now. Have a good day.